Innovation Partnership Program projects aimed at fast-tracking the development of the Konza Technopolis. Now, the projects include the Intelligent Transport System, an integrated control center, establishment of a startup ecosystem at Konza, development of smart logistics in Konza, and the Konza Nairobi Corridor Transport Network. Speaking during the launch ceremony in Nairobi, ICT Cabinet Secretary Elliot Owalo noted that the projects will further boost the government's agenda on the digital economy. has put Kenya on the digital map. We are widely recognized as a leading innovation hub in this region, and we are blessed with many educated and tech-savvy young people. We have defined the following flagship projects whose realization will propel Kenya into a digital future. We have the Kansas Technopolis as a whole, but now we're currently more focusing on the infrastructure, whereas stage two and stage three will be more about getting the high-tech industries and the facilities and the software programs embedded. Uh, this is a, a partnership where it's a grant uh, cooperation model uh, between Kenya and Korea. And uh, we've been able to do year one study, and currently we are here today to launch year two study. All right, on to our weekly feature, Smart Farm. And smallholder farmers in the country are increasingly embracing picture-based insurance services as a safety net against crop or livestock losses. We get more from our very own Dennis Otieno on this week's Smart Farm. Majority of farmers in the country rely on rain-fed agriculture, whose production system is most vulnerable to climate-related events. These natural forces beyond their control, coupled with financial shocks, often affect the income and livelihoods of smallholder farmers. But a crop insurance model whose results have been tested so far in seven counties is slowly reducing the risks for farmers. When uh, we were using the or relying only on the weather-based index insurance product, we found that farmers were not really trusting of this product. So after bringing in the picture-based monitoring angle to the insurance uh, space, we are seeing that farmers are more willing to buy, they trust the product. The picture-based insurance model uses satellite and smartphone imagery to assess losses. The concept of picture-based insurance was piloted in India, and then we have spread over to many other countries. We are in Ethiopia, we are in Rwanda, we are in Kenya. Ideally, farmers photograph their crops during the growing season and dispatch the pictures for expert analysis. Lead farmers dubbed champions are trained on good agricultural practices as well as photo capture and transmission. Picture-based insurance works similarly to, to um, the weather-based insurance products that you're familiar with, but on top of that we ask farmers to take regular uh, pictures of their crop from germination up to harvesting so that we can follow with these pictures how the crop evolves. One of the major benefits of the approach is cutting costs by reducing the number of field visits by loss assessors. The payouts depend on the sum insured. We worked in uh, seven counties, uh, two in western, Bungoma and Buzia, three in Upper Eastern, Embu, Tarakaniti and Meru, and uh, Makweni and Machakos in Lower Eastern. So farmers are willing to uh, use more stress-tolerant seed varieties. They're willing to employ more labor to work on their farms. They're willing to innovate and use machinery mechanization in their farms because they are assured of um, a fallback plan should the season fail. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.